Yeah. Oh shit, Pops guns. What's up? Yeah, I'm potato now, Bob. I am now virtual tuber. All right, let's see. Uh. Oh my god. That'd be hilarious. <laughs> Oh, oh my god! I should just do a collab with the other VTubers, and I'll be like, "Can I be a potato?" <laughs> Yo, that'd be good. That'd be hilarious. Wait, I should unironically ask them. Be like, "Hey, yo, <laughs> you need to diversify your uh, your roster. You need to have some vegetables." <laughs> Should probably reinstall a StarCraft. A yeah, yeah, feels not enough minerals. There we go. I'm just gonna send out Marines. Ah, uh, I'm just gonna send out Marines and infested boys. Boom 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 boom. Yeah, I don't think scouts are gonna make past the Haka. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Bob's has been playing Heroes of the Storm. Hey, yo. Yo. Heroes of the Storm is just Team Fight Simulator now, isn't it? I swear to God. Uh, there we go. I was very bad at this, and I never played it again because I'm on the same. I felt that it's useless as for the team. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's fair. I don't even have a. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm just not used to having heroes. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. I don't even micro my Dahaka though, so it's all it's all right. It doesn't Wait, really why matter. Ah, okay, okay. Look at that retinal attack. Oh, there's an impaler. Uh oh, well, I don't have an impaler. Oh, I ate it. Never mind. Let's go. Uh, uh oh. But I there's a banshee somewhere. Uh oh. There we go. Yeah. Oh, there's a bunch of banshees here. Hello. Hey. How's it going? So you can play here as long as it keeps you in the action. Hey. That's good to hear. How about yourself? I'm doing. I'm doing all right. I'm doing all right. All things considered. <laughs> Not really. I mean, actually, I exclusively deal with little kids this week, this year. I'm teaching grade fours. They're like nine. Yeah. Oh man. One day that move sounded almost exactly like Steve's from Minecraft. Ooh. Steve Minecraft. Oh jeez. Not the banshees. Yo, actually though, unironically, so good. <laughs> he got banned for being too good. Oh, actually, ah, because you you can craft like a like a diamond sword or something, right? Okay, he can build walls and uh, yeah. Hey. Walling someone off is pretty dumb. Oh man, wait, wait, how how do you, how does he get to the stage where he builds walls? Yeah, he just pulls out. He just pulls out a crafting table. What does a sleep move do? It explodes his eggs as if he's sleeping in the nether. Uh, is that is that is that like his, is that like his ultimate? Like his uh his smash knockout? No.
A triple Gary. Oh, no more triple Gary. Oh man. Where are the widow mines? That is the real question. Ah, uh, oh yeah, Gary, irradiate. was at the very minimum nerf so that he couldn't eat a unit that costs like more than say 500 money items. Mm. I wish he wouldn't be able to eat my Sovereign BC. Oh yeah. Lamau. Sovereign BCs are still edible. Oh, I recently discovered Talburus is edible. Like you, you, you know, you know, Zero Tools High Templar. He's edible. I was playing a game and then like he got eaten. And I was like, "Hey yo, huh?" <laughs> yeah, he's not a real character in the story. <laughs> oh, <laughs> was he in Brood War? Uh no wait no 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 that was 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 that Oh baby. Alright, let's get some more. Starcraft it would be able to punch at a weight class of 40k and anybody who says otherwise is wrong. That's true. Because remember, Marines are the bare minimum for the Starcraft universe and they are effectively at the same level or just under the space marines, which is the elite which is one of the elite factions of humanity. Interesting. The only issue is that uh, Starcraft Marines don't have plot armor. Yeah, it's well, true. Sure, but I mean, there are just so many more of them, it doesn't matter. Yeah. Okay, it's not have, like, a limited gene pool. Yeah, the Astartes have a limited gene pool, a limited recruitment pool. Marines can literally just eat any threat random Joe off the fucking sidewalk. <laughs> also, just they look they the need military training. But... Never mind, I don't get food on my Basically, Marines are like Imperial Guard in the Space Marine suit. similar caliber even if it doesn't explode but they shoot it faster and they have more ammo yeah because every single jet every single um bolt around that is fired is basically like i spent dollars on this single bullet and it's only killed one person a and i mean it's also a marauder shell and marauders can microforce their shells their armor effectively, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Like, Starcraft Marines and Marauders don't run out of ammo, they just build their own ammo on the field. Yeah. Actually, I think Marines do run out of ammo, it's just they have like belt dead. Effectively, because it's small fucking reason it is. Yeah. Marines oh, they eventually run out of ammo. They have a extremely high ammo capacity, but they end up dying before they can use it all. That's true. <laughs> Which, I mean, that's fair, and you can just throw more marines on the field and you can't start these okay. anyways. Now, now, the, the only issue is, Starcraft oh, is in a single sector. Warhammer hey. 40k is over the entire fucking galaxy. That's the only difference between the two universes. That's fair. So it's more, it, it's, it's technically smaller than, than for Starcraft. I think it's just more concentrated. Yeah. Yeah. But they're shooting at the that, but they're, the only reason they aren't fighting at the same weight class is because Warhammer Forty K is just huge. Yeah. Like the Zerg would just kind of steamroll the Terrans if they were able to get less than one invasion force. 
uh, isolated, which that's usually what happens in games. It's just like, well, okay, no, that's not good. It's yeah. not a single isolated game. But the yeah. dirt would be able to consume the Tyranids, and the dirt adapt faster than the Tyranids do. Oh, interesting. Especially because of Abathur and Dahaka. Oh, yeah. The hawk is like, I ate it. Now it's part of me, bro. <laughs> well, the primals are terrifying in this adaptation of these, but, um... So they were too busy killing each other, yeah, they... For, they a gen them. for a just a general picture, every single unit can evolve on its own. They just don't usually do so. Ah. Uh, I just don't feel like they, they, but, <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, they don't need to. Really, because there are so there. When you describe Zerg as, as when Zerg are described, they are literally a carpet of flesh on the ground. Now, the same is for Tyranids, but the difference is, Tyranids get stronger the longer they're alive, as far as I'm aware. The uh. longer a Tyranid bioform is alive, the stronger they get. Zerg, they start out at their standard power level, but they can just produce so many more. It doesn't matter. Hmm. Like. Old One Eye is, I don't, and I'm not entirely certain as to uh, the the lore accuracies of that. I'm pretty sure Old One Eye isn't truly um that much of a rare occurrence among the Tyranids. It's just all of the really powerful bioforms that the Tyranids have. They're just really old. They. They're, they're really old, and they've been around for so long, but, but uh, as for the usual for Tyranids, you don't hear about Tyranid victories because nobody's around to tell you about them. Mm. Okay, see, Bob's the same, uh, the Bolter's 75 cal, but the Marine gun is only 50 cal. Yeah. Like, and the bolter does explode, but the 50 cal is cheaper if the crew bring them at close to the modern day tank armor, like it's not even there. Mm -hmm. it, it's not. The Marine's main armament is not. Um, inferior. It's, is not so inferior to the bolter as to be uncomparable. That's fair. Also, enough bullets will just still get through. Armor. Well, yeah, but that's the same thing for space ones too. You shoot them enough, and eventually they die. It's the same for everything. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's fair. Space Marines are literally built different. <laughs> I just gotta let my destructors do their own thing and hope I don't regret horribly. Yeah. Bolters are explosive, but C14 is depleted uranium. Hey, yo. Yeah, the C14 rifle is depleted uranium, and it is terrifying. Hey. A depleted uranium machine gun. Because, from what I understand, and again, this is. I'm pretty sure. The minerals and Star Trek minerals are like super material that can be used in copying other materials when that required. Mm. I could be wrong, and I probably am. Yeah, that, that's, and it might just be a gameplay thing, but I remember that minerals are actually a thing in lore, and that's why the uh, Kulu sector is so neat and necessary. Oh, was so necessary to the UED because they were running out of materials and then they found minerals with the Kulu sector and said, Ah. Well, this solves all of our problems. Yeah. Minerals, super material. Hmm. Oh, Yo. Yeah. Yes. Because. Void rays will punch through. Um, well, first of all, 
Void Rage are about the size of a fucking skyscraper. So, yeah, think about that. Dang. If I play the lore accurate mod. Oh, lore accurate mod. Real scale mod. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. That was fun. The real scale mod really puts things in perspective. You have to, like, zoom out a lot. Areas are one third scale. <laughs> yeah. My PC can't handle the real scale mod for too long, uh, so I just had to tease my way through the campaign, but... Yeah. yeah. <sighs> oh, that's fair. I, I love watching Grant's reactions in the real scale mod, because it's like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's that's yeah, how that's I feel too. <laughs> <That's my> fucking... <laughs> uh... Do I just go tier 3 solely for the purpose of having tier 2 as well? Yeah, why not? Gotta get those weapons, you know. Uh... I have no units on tier 3 besides Galleon and Battle Cruiser that hops in like every 5 minutes. Yeah, every 5 minutes. I hate the Battle Cruiser Galleon. Yeah. It's the worst thing ever. Just give me back my old Battle Cruiser that I can buy. Yeah. It's gonna be the same thing. No one's gonna buy it anyways. <laughs> Unless you're like, surprise, I sold everything and I'm probably gonna lose. But here's a, here's six battle cruisers. <laughs> yeah. I mean, if you feel just solely, those battle cruisers aren't bad. Yeah. Oh. oh my god. That's a big hit right there. Yeah. Oh, I can't get the Rainer, man. I don't have a, I don't have a good unit against Hyperion. Any of you ever played the, uh, the Nexus Coop mod? Yeah. Yeah. Raiders can generate 30 health every 10 seconds. Wait, what? Anyways, Dang. Why did these Goliaths survive my destructors on 13 HP? Oh, man. Plot yeah, plot armor. These Goliaths have plot armor. They have one armor to be exact, actually. What the fuck? <sighs> Oh, I should fill everything with marines? No, you can I'm not... No, 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 you can't do at all. <laughs> but marines? Uh, Alright. No, I'm, just, I'm sure I'll just get some more tanks and, like, more uh, bunkers and stuff. I mean, bunkers are just compact marines. <laughs> That's true. Bunkers are just the uh, marine <laughs> battle bus. Alright, I just lost every single SCV that I have. <laughs> Get an APOC to soften the air? Alright, let's do it. I'll make it happen. Yeah, APOC's a good versus Hyperion. Yeah. Alright, I'm gonna save up. I'll get I'll get two or three. Ooh. Get Alex? Yeah, maybe. I would say Queens, but you can't micro them, which makes them kinda bad in this game because hockey, you know. Yeah. Like you can't you can't queue up a bunch of abilities. That's what I don't like. All right. Oh, it's over. A. A. Let's go. A. That was pretty good. In the rear with the gear. The tires, let's light some fires! They need a light. They picked the wrong fight. <laughs>